men should work less or work part time to close gender pay gap. <sighs> Look, I am just fucking sick to the back teeth. Not sick of to the back teeth. I, I going to make a pure statement to you, to you men out there, that feminists are cunts. Feminists are evil bastards. And that feminists are going to destroy civilization, destroy the West. And destroy everything that we have to date. Pure and simple. They, the bastard feminists, are in control of the governments that we have. Uh, Sweden, Denmark, um, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, England, America, New Zealand. <laughs> The, these countries, which are now literally sorry, I've, I've just got a number of. Um, I'll try and switch off my phone. It just went off there. Uh, are literally destroying and bringing implementing feminist driven policies and they have been doing so since the 60s this is a story that came out in may and we we're now in september i and i didn't cover it but it's still unbelievably relevant to men you need to wake up gentlemen this is what's happening that is the reason why the, the suicide rate for men is over 80%. Over 80%. Men should work less or work part time to close gender pay gap. So, in, men who are earning good money should now. Reduce their hours, specifically so that women can earn more. Or so that the so-called gender pay gap will then be reduced. The fact that men are working more hours, women have that choice to work more hours but they don't so because they are embarrassed at the fact that men are more likely to stay after work whether they're married or they're single than women are and that therefore to earn more money women don't like that the feminist fraternity don't like that. Let's re go through this. Here we go. And, and as you can see, a man holding. I mean, there's nothing wrong in this, you know. It's you know, but it, it, it's when it's in, done in from the, the female feminist perspective. This is where I have a problem with it, with with these kind of things. The chuckivization, the simpism of men the cutting trying to cut their balls off type of men men should work less in order to help close the men permanent so consistently women are these especially feminist bastards are always saying that you men must stop and reduce and stop earning so much money so that you can help women out. 
That's what it's always about. Men, it's always men that have been the ones who've got to change. Not women. Men. Not women who have to, can't be bothered. Even though single, there are single women who are being paid more than the same amount that guys are doing the same work. So we've now got a reverse situation where women were paid less back before the 60s, before the laws came in to force men to equal like women equal pay. Women are now getting more pay for doing the same amount of work as men are. But this is not seen as, as um, no problem at all. You look in the tennis world, women play three sets. They now get a million point eight. The men played five sets. This is the US Open in tennis. The men got, the runner up got 1.8 million. The same as the runner up, Serena Williams, in the women's final got 1.8 million. Yet the men played more sets than Serena Williams, in which Serena Williams bitched threw her toys out of the pram and winched consistently and continually all the way through to the end of the match. The feminist movement is not interested in equality. This is the reason why the feminist movement can come out with stupid fucking sick, dumbass um, suggestions like this because they can blatantly do it. This is by a female economist, a female economist of a, of a think tank. This is, this is logic at its finest. A report from the IPPR has found that there is a pay gap in 80% of clearly defined occupations. What are those clearly defined occupations? I went by a building site today and I saw two women going in there. And the thing I noticed, they were wearing no hard hats. The guys who I saw coming out were wearing hard hats. They were wearing jeans, tight jeans as, as usual, and uh, steel toe cap boots, a jacket, and the viz. But they weren't wearing the helmet when they were going in. I don't know why, but <clears throat> these occupations, clearly defined occupations. What are those occupations? Office-based occupations, construction-based occupations, oil rig, mining. What, what, what occupations? We don't know. Sorry, we do know. It is always office base. This is what they always do their findings on office base. Defined occupations with seniority being the critical driver of wage disparity. So, because men tend to occupy, suppose, the, the the manage higher management roles, even though below them, a lot of women are employed, both full time and part time, is irrelevant. It's like in the, in the NHS. Overwhelmingly, the amount the amount of people that work in the NHS are women, and so the the management of the few places that are occupied are by men up who are in the higher management. The feminist doesn't want to see men there. They want to see men as janitors. They want to see men cleaning the floors. They don't want to see them in the management mode. That's what this is about. For most occupation, men are in more senior, high pay versions of the role of women. I hope you're able to understand that. Because I didn't fucking understand it at all. Let's go through this again. For most occupations, men are in more 
senior high pay versions of the role of women. Let's continue. Catherine Colebrook, IPPR Chief Economist. This is Chief Economist and co author of the report, The State of Pay. The report goes on to say that companies tend to report a gap that's small that's smaller than that than their industry average, suggesting that even if bigger companies manage to close their gaps, the disparity would still exist on a national level. What this report tells us is that firms are a big part of the solution to fixing the gender pay gap, but they can't do it on their own. That gentleman is a precursor to the government has to be st step in and force companies to do the bidding of the feminists. That's what this is about. They want the government to step in, like it has in all society. For instance, look in America, the WNBA, I just read a couple of days ago, gets to the tune of $12 million, to the tune of $12 million from the NBA, that's the males, their male counterpart. Their earnings that they make pays for the WNBA, which has not made a profit since its conception and it will never be allowed to go out of existence it is here forever because it's apparently been written into law that it will never be allowed to defunct which probably says to you and me that either the nba will have to put money into it to keep it consistently going or the government will take it over and will put money into it. So it will become like the athletics and it will become part of the athletic stream, um, you know, like UK sport or something. And it will therefore will continually be funded. The report goes on to say that companies tend to report a gap oh sorry i've already said that sorry uh, uh, here we go this is this is the this is apparently the solution this is this is her being say being very helpful but they can't do it on their own the solutions also have to come from individuals so that's men they're talking about and from the government in short here we go this is the drum roll ladies and, sorry this is the drum roll gentlemen men need to work fewer hours and women need to work more unbelievable Un fucking believable. So what they're saying is, listen, you guys, you've got to stop work, reduce, making the amount of money you're making. I don't know, hundred grand. It's got to be cut down to at least fifty, maybe even forty thousand, to help out ladies, to help out the women, so that they can bring their money right up there without having to work. Well, apparently, need to work more rather than just women working more hours. Leave men to carry on, not leave men, men do your thing. Men will continue to do their thing until the feminized, feminized controlled government forces companies because they've already done it by forcing companies that 
employ over 250 uh sorry companies yeah the companies that employ over 250 employees they forced them by god in the united kingdom they forced them to publish results and those that didn't they're going to cut their goodies off they're going to go after them and i think they've gone after them because there was a couple that were late a few of them that were late and they've been were, were berated by the, the government how dare they be late in bringing the results you will bring this result in and they will be fined for being late they will be fined you do you don't do this to women i think you can get away with this you will be fined so this feminist bitch is saying that men must work fewer hours so that this gender pay cap will be reduced because they that is what they know that the, the reason why the supposed gender pay, pay cap exists is because men work more hours than women do women don't want to work those hours and they go home they're not interested in that they now want the men to stop working overtime period and for women to do that overtime which they don't want to do but they expect them to do it one of the issues women face is the and this is here we go listen to this boys and girls or sorry boys and men motherhood penalty so this is this is the reason why i hate feminists i really really hate feminists i, I i'm serious i i i cannot stand them i hate them they are bastards they're not just cancer to society they are complete and total bastards people need and you see the, the thing is people need to see the like the ira the ira was a terrorist organization it was clearly a terrorist organization the feminist movement with the suffragettes they were a terrorist organization they burnt buildings down they terrorized the british public to force the government to give certain section of female society that is the upper work or upper middle classes who had land and property the vote what people don't realize is that there was a lot of men working class men that at the same time did not have vote didn't have the right to vote or not i didn't have access to vote the feminism wasn't interested about that they were only interested in women and the upper echelons of those women because the feminist movement sees itself as a a movement that will control and run the western world and probably the rest of the world in good in, in good in their in their in, in good time in their good time they are looking to control this world to what they call a patriarchal patriarchal system to a matriarchal system where women are in control they own all the resources and men are just purely there to do the menial work wake up men this is what is in store for you if you do not take the red pill and understand that you are in a matrix controlled environment that the feminist movement are controlling they are in control that's a fact so this silly bitch says one of the issues women face is the motherhood penalty so motherhood is seen as a massive 
massive burden to women. It's a massive chore. It, and, and, and an unpleasant chore. That's why they call it motherhood penalty. A penalty is, is an, uh, to, for the other side is a, uh, is a, is a is a massive inconvenience because it could help you to lose what you're look, trying to do, which is to win win the match or win the game, and you get a penalty which is nasty and horrendous. You could lose the match, ultimately. So that's what penalty is about. So motherhood is a nasty and horrible necessity, uh, supposed necessity. This is what the feminist movement looks at. With pay gaps dramatically increasing after women take time out to have children. So this woman is taking time to have, to have children. Is she being forced to by her husband? Today, there may have been a period of time back in there were, because there wasn't all the labour saving um, facilities that we have today didn't exist 50, 150 years ago, just didn't exist. Female society, female women back in those days had servants. When they went shopping, they had, they had um, a working class servant girl that helped with carrying her bags or look, you know, helping her with her clothing when she went shopping. These women of those societies enjoyed society to the hilt. They just weren't in control, which is what they wanted. They wanted to be in control. That's what the feminist movement wanted. They wanted to be in total control. The problem was, when they did get the vote, after talking about it from 1866, I think it was, that the feminist movement started talking about, you know, votes for women. When they eventually got the vote, what did they do with it? They did absolutely nothing with it. Night, uh, World War I came and went. World War II came and went. And then nothing. But when the civil rights movement suddenly came along, the feminist movement, the gay movement, the gay lobby all jumped on the bandwagon. That's when they started changing. According to the Institute of Physical Studies, women earn almost a third less per hour on average than similarly educated fathers. So what they're saying is that women are, are this is what they're doing, they're earning a third less per hour. The fact that they're getting the same pay, i.e., I don't know, £10, £20 an hour, is irrelevant. What they're trying to make out is if that this is what women are really actually they're not getting 20 pounds an hour they're getting i don't know um 15 pounds an hour which is not true they're getting 20 pounds an hour or 30 pounds an hour okay but they, this is the way they twist these things and to combat that dads need to be more flexible and more senior roles need to be offered as a job share Fuck! Holy fuck! I thought that women were equal to men, that they can do anything and everything that men can do, and they do not need any help ups. They will sort these problems out by themselves, i.e., women will start working more hours. Rather than rejecting the hours that are put down to them, they will work the hours, they will ask for more hours. They will ask for more raises. But they don't want that culture. They don't want a culture where they, people have to ask, like they have done for years. Remember, many of those men that go to senior management to ask for a raise have been pushed by their wives. Listen, we've got an extra mouth to feed here. We need that extra conservatory. We need that extra car. So men have been compelled to get that extra raise which goes to the benefit of the family, which goes to the benefit of the person in charge of the home, which is the woman. Solution to you gentlemen, don't get married. Certainly not in the West, go abroad. 
have children abroad. There are so many places in the world that you can have children other than here in the West, other than here in the UK, or in America, or in Canada, or in New Zealand, or in Australia. Let's continue. I just think it's flabbergasted, just the unbelievable. By encouraging more men, encouraging more men to take shared potential, potential uh, shared leave and work part time, women have a better chance of getting into and staying in higher power jobs. Oh, fucking hell. You know, these jobs, a lot of these jobs were built and designed by men over time and then women now come into these high paying jobs uh, come into these jobs now expect to get those high paying jobs through affirmative action without having to work for it I'm, not all women there are some women who do work very hard I, I, and i totally understand that but i tell you this now i would never employ women in my workplace if i had five or ten thousand people i would make sure that none of them uh, not nothing even to do with the coffee mate or cleaning i would look purely for men to be doing all these jobs i would not employ secretaries no way because now that you have ddr facilities you've got voicemail you don't need a secretary if someone comes to your door and you have an open plan office um someone presses a button the nearest person who is near that door will or here's the bell. We'll generally get up to open the door and say, how can I help you? Who do you need to speak to? Okay, hold on. Or whatever. You don't need a secretary. There was a time when secretaries used to, I think it was in the 90s, some dumbass, I don't know who, who it was, said, uh, the people who really, to be honestly and truthful, run the businesses are the secretaries. They're the ones that are running the businesses. Not the bosses. The secretary. And do you know, after that point, there was a sudden hike in the amount of money that ordinary secretaries got, regardless. Because you start hearing on the news, on the radio, yes, we're the ones that run this the business. We're the ones who are making the coffees and the teas. We're the ones that are, are running around taking all the messages to everyone. We're the ones who are watching, checking that the tax uh, the VAT has been done. We're the ones who are doing everything, even the accountancy, which is a load of bullshit. But they like to think that, even though they've, they're calling an accountant, they're the ones who are chasing the accountant to make sure this and that's done. They're the ones who are making sure that all the items that they need, the the, uh, t the toner, the newspapers, the glue, blah, 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 all, <coughs> you know, uh, sorted out by the, fem uh, by the um, secretary easy solution to that save your money don't bother employing secretaries you, if you've got in-house people there get them to do it or get them to order their own toner or you as the manager of the boss you are supposed to do get on and do that job Catherine again here we go changing men's working behavior is a critical component for equalizing pay which is a load of fucking bullshit this is another way of suppressing men from doing either what they love to do or what they need to do in order to earn money again men why are you bothering to get married and if you do if you're going to get listen if you're going to be in a relationship and you, a woman has a child don't be living with that woman have your own separate place let her have her own separate place but she has to pay towards the rent and the upkeep of that property. You have to pay for your child. Well, I think that's what we need to see more and more. We need to see men and women not live cohabiting, but, you know, they're talking about men should take more of the share of the home homework. Just don't, uh, you know, don't bother living with women. You don't need to. You don't need to. If employees could offer paid paternity leave 
on a use it or lose it basis. Make job flexibility by default and encourage men to share job share. Use it, use it or lose it. Really. There we go. Should men be encouraged to work less? And this is a great doc. I clicked on there. No, they should carry on as they are. 75%. Yes, they should should share the domestic and uh, career load, whatever that career load is. Oh, okay, the that nonsense. 25%. extraordinary and this is the reason why men you know people like um milo um has all you know said that feminism was cancer um and you know he needs to continue with, with saying that <sighs> extraordinary honestly people extraordinary Okay, so let me just get back up to the top. So there you have it. Um, men should work less or work part-time to help women out in the gender pay gap. For what reason? Why should men stop reduce their working hours so that women can so-called catch up? Women need to start doing more uh, over time. That's what they need to be doing to so-called ca catch up with the so-called gender pay gap this is just nonsense this is another loose loony stupid left far left uh, left wing feminist evil nasty propaganda complete nonsense get a chance please like or comment below thanks very much